Day 11 of Brown's training camp is complete. Practice is over and they have their first major injury suffered. And Mary Kay, it is a big one. Jakeem Grant, who was brought here to really supercharge this return game, uh, got injured during one-on-one -on -one drills. It is feared to be a ruptured Achilles, which of course would end his season. And, uh, you know, look, Mike Prefer has spoken highly of Jakeem Grant. This is an area where the Browns really wanted to turn things around and now they lose one of their key free agent signings. So unfortunate to watch Jakeem Grant go down today and get carted off. Again, as you mentioned, uh, a source told me that he is feared to have torn the Achilles. Uh, that will require surgery. He will be out for a good long time. Uh, we watched Grant Delpit work his way back from a, a ruptured Achilles attendant. It takes about a year to come back from an injury like that. Nine months to a year. It's really a tough injury. A huge blow to the Cleveland Browns. We just talked to Jakeem two days ago and he was just raving about what a, you know how great it is that he's having a chance to play receiver and um, and you know this this is big this leaves a big hole yeah, and Ashley, Mike Prefer was saying that Jakeem Grant is a guy he wanted here uh, for a few years now, and Andrew Barry finally went out and got him. And now the Browns are kind of back in that position they've been in in the past where they just don't know who's going to be their return guy. Yeah, and think this has really been an issue for them for about the last, what, five, six, seven years? Like, it's gone back a while, and he was supposed to be a huge boost. And, of course, when Jakeem Grant talked over the weekend, he talked about how he was looking forward to being viewed as more than just a returner and getting involved in the receiver game, getting involved in the pass game. So it's just really unfortunate, like Mary Kay said, given what he's so good at and so explosive in that return game, it's a really unfortunate injury. Now, of course, the Browns open their preseason on Friday night in Jacksonville, 7 o'clock at TIAA Bank Stadium. Mary Kay, we don't know who's going to play yet. No, we don't. But, you know, I really think that Deshaun Watson is going to play in this game. Uh, this will be his first opportunity to play since the end of the 2020 season when he led the NFL with 4,823 passing yards. Uh, the Browns almost have to play him in this game because they don't know if he's going to be able to play in any other preseason game. If he gets indefinitely suspended for up to a year, there's a chance he could have to vacate the premises at any time. So they've really got to try to get him on the field for this game if they can. I mean, it might be decided before then, uh, but if the, uh, if the appeal ruling hasn't come down by Friday or if he's allowed to play, you know, a finite number of games this season, I say he's probably going to play in Jacksonville. Ashley, just more uncertainty, right? I mean, if yeah. they find something out tomorrow, it's going to affect Friday, but uh, we just don't know. Uncertainty is nothing new for this team. I would say just in this year, but really in over two decades here in Cleveland, uncertainty has kind of been the name of the game. But I do think it's interesting when you have a guy like Deshaun Watson because he didn't play last year. So, of course, like we talk about these preseason games, there's always a risk of players getting injured that you have to manage and kind of you want to obviously avoid that. But considering the lengthy absence, it kind of makes sense why we might see him. And, of course, the Browns have joint practices coming up next week, and I'm sure that will be in the back of Kevin's mind when he decides which starters to play and which starters not to play. Hey, a couple of shout outs I've collected as I've gone around camp. Nate, Chief Carboni, thanks for watching us. Full coverage of the day at camp at cleveland.com slash browns.